this is down. Oh, go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Now, Arthur Morgan goes to the mine to help out Mrs. Down's son. And you got to remember, he's now infected with tuberculosis, and he's not as strong or fast as he used to be. And that could kind of be a bit of a problem. So when he goes to help her son, yeah, things could go kind of wrong. Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh, all right. oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? <laughs> or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. go let him go come on me shame on you he's just a goddamn boy let's get you out of here but they're gonna kill me now i got no job and they're gonna kill me i've got some money you and your mama can go someplace nice well, why are you doing this i don't know listen take this all of it try and talk to your mama and get out of here now run i'll try good boy i don't want to see you here again As you can see, my honor bar went all the way to the right, and I have reached maximum honor. So I get an award, an achievement. And, well, Arthur Morgan kind of causes the kid to lose his job, but he gives him some money. And you got to remember, 50 bucks was a lot back then. And now we will get on to the second part of this mission. Ah, I saw flashing red, which means Mr. Morgan's health is down. But I digress. Let's get on with part two. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Once you get to a certain spot on the map, uh, yeah, oh, de-hook the horse there. Once you get to a certain spot on the map, you have to track Mrs. Morgan, or not Mrs. Morgan, Mrs. Downs and her uh, companion down. And you just use your hunting skills like you normally would, and you track her down. Now you use your hunting skills to track her down. You can see the tracks, and you can follow them. 
I advise going back and getting your horse. Now, once you find the other guy's horse, it might not be a problem, but I at least would take the shotgun or some form of rifle with as well, besides your two sidearms. And then you find Mrs. Downs. Could do. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. You push me, I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. Let's go. Now, on the ride back to Ansburg, Mrs. Downs and Mr. Morgan have a conversation about morality and various other things. It's a nice conversation, but I'm going to fast forward through it to get to the end and not make this video so long. She should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama, Mama. <gasps> Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for for pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. And there you have it. Um, do not seek absolution. And mission passed. Arthur Morgan is a better man. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week in regards to video games. A lot of Red Dead Redemption, but I'm getting near the end. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Subscriptions drive all channels, and mine is no different. And I really thank you. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.